Good evening. My name is Jim Burdick, and I lead the Labrie String Ensemble. First, I want to express our appreciation to the Creative Arts Guild for allowing us to use this facility for our practice and our concert. Normally, this time of year, you'd be watching a video of the whole symphony orchestra, but the pandemic has made that impossible. Luckily, the ensemble is small enough that we can play live, spread apart, and in person to give you a musical gift for this Christmas. Since we don't have written programs, I will be introducing uh, each selection before we play it. A Thousand Years, this is one of the most beautiful love songs of the last decade, and we played this several years ago at the wedding of a friend of the group. Christina Perry's official music video is on YouTube, and both the images and the music are simply gorgeous. YouTube viewing numbers for a popular song are typically 12 to 15 million. But at last check, this song has already been viewed 1.6 billion times.
Wayfaring Stranger and Bound for the Promised Land are two traditional folk songs. Back in 2015, the ensemble performed Appalachian Serenade, a program of many forms of American folk music. The second song in this med medley is arranged to convey the sound of dulcimer music, very quiet, with the bass mostly drones in fifths and the melody played on just the upper string. We played the first performance of the Appalachian program at the Dalton State College Auditorium.
In Christ Alone is a contemporary Christian song which has become a favorite in traditional worship as well over the last 20 years. I was asked to write a violin obligato to be played with the choir and organ at First Methodist Church, and I have played it there many times over the years. Our string arrangement also has that solo violin part.
Turkey in the Straw. This is a fun piece that I arranged for the Appalachian concert, mixing pizzicato with bowed parts for an interesting effect. It starts with everyone plucking the strings, and then one by one, each part switches to bowing, adding volume and texture each time. It also has a cute and playful ending. One Small Child. This is a new piece I heard last Christmas, sung by the younger adult choir at First Baptist Church. It was so beautiful that I had to arrange it for our group.
once in Royal David's city. When we first formed this group in 2012, I purchased a lot of published collections of Christmas songs just to get us started. However, I was disappointed in the quality of most of the collections and began doing my own arrangements. By four years ago, I was arranging all of our music. I have two key sources, choral anthems and the hymnal. In this case, I wanted to step away from the standard upbeat hymnal version by slowing it down and writing a middle verse in a minor key, making this more of a Christmas meditation than a congregational hymn. The unique voice of the viola seemed to convey that feeling, and I wrote the first verse as a viola solo. Come, Emmanuel. This old hymn has the feel of an ancient chant, with the meter changing back and forth between 4-4 four, four and 6-4. I had written an organ prelude, which combined the familiar medley melody with very unconventional harmony, and that inspired the first verse of this arrangement. The middle verse was a different organ variation, and the last verse is straight from the hymnal.
Salvation is Created is part of an Eastern Orthodox Christmas liturgy written in Russia more than 100 years ago. It is best heard when sung by an a cappella choir in a big stone cathedral, but the gorgeous melody and harmony still come through in this string arrangement. This is another choral anthem that I fell in love with as soon as I sang it, and I just had to share it through the ensemble. Let all mortal flesh keep silent. Another of my favorite Christmas hymns, and another for which I wrote an organ meditation, which inspired the first verse and the ending.
where shepherds lately knelt. Craig Courtney keeps writing great choral pieces one after another. I first heard and sang this at First Baptist last Christmas and knew right away that it had to be part of the String Ensemble's playlist. Patapan, a great, very old tune, this one from France. I've heard any number of contemporary arrangements which are harmonized in the modern style, changing chords in parallel with the melody. But I wanted to capture the feeling of the original. Like a lot of very early folk music, this arrangement has sustained minor chords, which create tension when the melody notes are not part of those chords but the dissonance is brief and only in passing and just adds atmosphere to the song.
hope you've enjoyed our musical offering for this Christmas, and I invite you to share it with your friends on Facebook. With the coming of vaccines for the virus, it looks possible that next year we can once again have a Christmas concert with the whole orchestra. For the entire Labrie Symphony Orchestra family, Merry Christmas. <laughs>